The rule of twelfths is an approximation to a sine curve. It can be used as a rule of thumb for estimating a changing quantity where both the quantity and the steps are easily divisible by 12. Typical uses are predicting the height of the tide or the change in day length over the seasons. Topic: The rule. The rule states that over the first period the quantity increases by 1/12. Then in the second period by two twelfths, in the third by three twelfths, in the fourth by three twelfths, fifth by two twelfths and at the end of the sixth period reaches its maximum with an increase of one twelfth. The steps are one to two, three to three, two to one giving a total change of twelve twelfths. Over the next six intervals the quantity reduces in a similar manner by one, two, three, three, two, one twelfths. Topic. Applications In many parts of the world the tides approximate to a semi-diurnal sine curve, that is there are two high and two low tides per day. As an estimate then each period equates to an hour, with the tide rising by one, two, or three twelfths of its total range in each hour. In places where there is only one high and one low water per day, the rule can be used by assuming the steps are two hours. If the tidal curve does not approximate to a sine wave then the rule cannot be used. This is important when navigating a boat or a ship in shallow water, and when launching and retrieving boats on slipways on a tidal shore. The rule is also useful for estimating the monthly change in sunrise, set and day length. Given the midsummer and midwinter day lengths the day length at any intervening month can be estimated. Alternatively, given the times of either sunrise of sunset and the two solstices the time of rise and set can be found approximately for any day. Topic. Example calculations Topic. Tides If a tide table gives the information that tomorrow's low water would be at noon and that the water level at this time would be 2 meters above chart datum, and that at the following high tide the water level would be 14 meters, then the height of water at 3 p.m. can be calculated as follows. The total increase in water level between low and high tide would be, 14 minus 2 equals 12 meters. In the first hour the water level would rise by 1 twelfth of the total 12 meters or, 1 meter. In the second hour the water level would rise by another 2 twelfths of the total 12 meters or, 2 meters. In the third hour the water level would rise by another 3 twelfths of the total 12 meters or, 3 meters. This gives the increase in the water level by 3 p.m. as 6 meters, this represents only the increase, the total depth of the water relative to chart datum will include the 2 meters depth at low tide, 6 meters plus 2 meters equals 8 meters. The calculation can be simplified by adding twelfths together and reducing the fraction beforehand. Rise of tide in 3 hours equals 1 12 plus 2 12 plus 3 12 times 12 m equals 6 12 times 12 m equals 1 2 times 12 m equals 6 m display style equals left 1 over 12 plus 2 over 12 plus 3 over 12 right times 12 mathrm m equals left 6 over 12 right times 12 mathrm m equals left 1 over 2 right times 12 mathrm m equals 6 mathrm m Topic. Day length 
if midwinter sunrise and set are at 9 o'clock and 1500, and midsummer at 3 o'clock and 2100, the daylight duration will shift by 0.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 1.30, 1 o'clock and 0.30 over the six months from one solstice to the other. Likewise the day length changes by 0.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 1 1.30, 1, 1 o'clock and 0.30 each month. More equatorial latitudes change by less, but still in the same proportions, more polar by more. Caveats The rule is a rough approximation only and should be applied with great caution when used for navigational purposes. Officially produced tide tables should be used in preference whenever possible. The rule assumes that all tides behave in a regular manner, this is not true of some geographical locations, such as Pool Harbor or the Solent where there are double high waters or Weymouth Bay where there is a double low water. The rule assumes that the period between high and low tides is six hours but this is an underestimate and can vary anyway. <laughs>